told you, Ken. I told you a long time ago that when you back a man up in the corner far enough, he's going to do things that he doesn't necessarily want to do. I told you, Ken. I told you that a long time ago. I told you that I had absolutely nothing to lose going into our match December 19th. And what was the outcome, Ken? If it don't make dollars, it don't make sense. Does it make sense to you now? For months, for months, you've embarrassed me. You took every little thing I had away from me. You've prevented me from going further. You took away the one person that I thought who was my friend away from me. You've embarrassed me. You've put me through a gauntlet. And on December 19th, we went to war. And what happened, Ken? We beat the holy piss out of each other, Ken. But in the end, I told you exactly what the outcome was going to be, Ken. I walked out the winner. I beat you. I beat you in your own game of Monopoly. Surely you have a lot of money than I do. I don't have a lot of money, Ken. But you fell for your own greed. And now, you're mad. How can this one guy be able to beat the mighty Ken Broadway? I beat you, Ken, and I'm going to beat you again. Do you want to know why? It's because you want to go to House of Glory management and demand for a last man standing match. Isn't that right, Ken? February 27th. You want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me one more time in a last man standing match. You, you really, you really don't understand the consequences of this match, Ken. This could be a career-ending match for both you and I. Again, Ken, I have absolutely nothing to lose. Do you see men behind me? My pockets, I don't have money. But I have heart, I have strength, and I've assessed the situation for millions and millions of times with you, Ken. And the outcome is always going to be the same. I'm gonna victimize you and I'm going to embarrass you. I'm gonna take every little thing away from you. You wanna go out, you wanna mock the audience? You want to mock me, you want to disrespect House of Glory, the place that I helped build with my hard work, my blood, my sweat, my energy. Everything that I've ever had has gone into House of Glory, and you want to walk in there with your loads of cash, you want to try to step all over my glory, you want to try to step all over my dedication, is that what you want to do, Ken? Come February 27th, this is going to be the end. The be all, end all. A last man standing match, Ken. This isn't, this isn't a match. With a, with a submission or a pinfall, whoever gets up would be the one that's gonna walk out again. You're not gonna walk out. I promise you that. Again, I have nothing behind me. I have nothing in my pockets. I have nothing to lose. So come February 27th, Ken, one more time, I'm gonna prove to you exactly why I am one of the most dangerous competitors within House of Glory. And as for you, Ariella Nix, I got you back, didn't I? I kept warning you, I kept telling you this entire time, don't do anything that's going to jeopardize your career. And you did just that. You got in my way. You tried to jump and put your two cents in the match. And what happened? You got speared. And you went to the hospital. It's a good thing you're dating a really rich guy, right? Because he was able to pay off your hospital bills. But will he be able to pay off his own hospital bills after February 27th? A last man standing match, Ken. This is it. You've prevented me from going far enough. You've took everything away from me. I have one victory over you. You have zero. And come February 27th, Ken, I will be the last man standing. And as you always like to put it, if it don't make dollars, well, you're going to be paying your hospital bills in the end, Ken.